All right, boys and girls, great job on your tightrope walking. I was pretty impressed. Nicely done. Well, we're ready for our next circus act. You know, when you go to the circus, there's all kinds of bizarre acts that we enjoy as the audience. And one that I remember seeing when I was a little girl was there was a man and he had I bet 20 different colored plates. And he would place these plates on his head, on his hands, and not just one plate, but multiple plates. And I was amazed that he was able to balance all this at one time. So we're gonna try that act today. So to get you started, you want to make sure that you have some paper plates and I've designed mine with my two favorite colors. You can color yours if you want to. If you don't want to, that's okay too. But you're going to take your paper plates and you're going to put them together so that they kind of look like a flying saucer. Okay? And then you're just simply going to staple those so that they stay together. And this helps when you're balancing. Um, it gives your um, it gives your plate a little bit more stability whenever you're doing all your crazy acts. Okay, so again, you're gonna staple those up so that you have like a disc like this. Okay, so I want you to pause your video so that you can prepare your plates, and then we're gonna get started on the good stuff. So let's make our plates, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls, here we go. You're gonna take one of your plates, place it in the palm of your hand, then extend it out and back in. Then change your hands, extend it out and back in, nice and slow, keeping balance. All right, we're gonna get a little trickier. Now we're gonna take two of our plate discs and we're gonna put them in each hand Extend your hands out and then bring them back and up and down and back to the center. Now let's go up and all the way down, bending your knees and back up. Great job, ninjas. Place one of your plates down. Keep a hold of that one plate. Here we go. We only have one plate that we're going to be balancing. We will get trickier by placing another plate on top of it. All right, so now we have two plates. Here we go. Extend it out and bring it back. Just getting used to that balance. Now we're going to take a walk around in a circle, balancing those plates on our hand. Here we go. Look at that. Making sure that you don't drop them. If you do, it's okay. You can pick them up and start again. We did great. Now we gotta get another plate. Oh no, we're gonna add three. Here we go, three plates balanced on top of each other. Let's take a stroll around in a circle. Nicely done. It's always good too to keep your eye on the plates as you're walking. Great job. All right, you ready for that final challenge? Four, can you do it? Let's see, plate number four goes on top. Let's take our walk around, here we go. Balancing four plates, what an awesome job. Walking around in a circle, be careful, don't drop them. We did it, great job. Now we're gonna flip them just like a pancake and flip them to your other hand around. Here we go. Keeping very, very still. Balancing those plates on our hand around in the circle. Great job. Yes. All right. Let's place our plates over here and get ready for our next challenge. Are you ready? This one's tricky. Take one plate, place it on top of your okay if it falls off. We're going to try it one more time. Here we go. Holding that plate very steady. Now watch what I do. This is tricky. We're going to lift our right leg very slowly, holding that plate, balancing on top of our head. Now let's try our left leg, keeping that plate balanced on the top of our head. Great 
job, ninjas. You did it. Take a bow.